Welcome, it is Zach's 30th. You guys, make some noise for Zach Peter! Oh my God, the cuties that saw Tom Sandoval and Rachel Raquel make out in Mexico! <laughs> was it as gross as I imagined? It was gross. It did it, you bet you couldn't get a boner for like a month. That is... <laughs> I can think of nothing else, you guys, than the scandal of it. You can keep talking, go ahead. No. It has become my whole personality and I don't give a fuck, okay? My goal is to roast Tom Sandoval the rest of my fucking life. I... It's like I don't believe in love anymore. You know, if you can't trust a man in lifted converse, who can you trust? Fuck. I love how there's this new campaign now, everybody, you know, I don't know if it's a media thing or a Bravo thing, like save Sandy Butt, that's what I call him, Sandy Butt, I figure that's nicer than ass face dick licker, I don't know what. <laughs> but uh, there's this whole like, what about his mental health? What about his mental health? You gotta be careful, his mental health, mental health. I'm like, the bitch is on tour, okay? <laughs> He's shirtless, screaming into a microphone, okay? He can't sing, and he's charging people to watch him sing. I think he's gonna be okay. Now, Rachel, she's gotta hide, which just shows you that the patriarchy is alive and well, okay? <laughs> Cause she's like, you know, a mo like a teen mom from the 50s, hiding out in fucking Tucson. Who wants to go to Tucson, you know? Unless you go to jail, I don't know. <laughs> she could be in jail, I don't know. I don't know anything now. I feel like, who is Rachel? Who's Raquel? God, she, thank you, she doesn't know. But I do feel, I know this is unpopular opinion, I feel like there's redemption for Rachel because she's 28. Okay, but just <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. If she would have to put the work in, okay, she would have to stop stealing, obviously, people's boyfriends, people's haircut. But compared, I'm, I'm only saying compared to Tom Sandy Butt, who's like 72. Did you guys know that? He is so... He started collecting Social Security seven years ago. That fucking liar. I... <laughs> Oh my God, now all the time, I just wanna like, you know, I just like get down to send up as a liar, send up as a liar. <laughs> Apparently you can't even sing that anymore. Like that's, James Kennedy has to have the audience sing it. <laughs> Cause Tom's Fifi's are that hurt that he can't, oh. But God, I know that um, Schwartz warned us that Ariana was gonna eviscerate. Remember on Watch What Happens Live, he's like, Oh God, Andy, G, Willie, I mean, who's over the whole Schwartz is like, oh, you know, it's like, you're 50, you're 50, okay? You're closer to retirement than college, bro, step it up. Is that what mushrooms do to you? Because I never want to do them now. I've only known one other person that did mushrooms and that was Bill Hicks and he became like an amazing, legendary comedian. You know, but then fucking the Toms do it and they're like, arrested development, my penis is leaving. You know, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> glitter pants, just all these glitter pants. And uh, can somebody contact Brandon Boyd from Incubus and tell him <laughs> that Tom Sandoval is murdering his music? <laughs> right? Oh my God, thank you. She knows me. That's so funny. I am. I am hilarious, thank you for recognizing that. It's, it's pretty clear, it's pretty clear that I am super funny. You guys are so cute, you're adorable. Oh, I just can't, I can't, I can't stop. I can't. Did someone say Jolene? Hi, is it Norma? Hi Norma. I know a bitch who yells, you know a couple. Everyone's got one friend that's like, Jolene! I know you're in the middle of a show, but me! Me, bitch, me! I love it. I used to drink, too. That was fun. I, I was a horrible alcoholic. Oh, my God. Like, lo thank you. We have some alcoholics here. Yes, Sober City. Practicing, non-practicing. I like it. We saw Lala earlier taking pictures with everyone. She's sober. Shout out to Lala. Look at I love you. 
She's so drunk, she thinks she's Lala. I love her. She's like, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Sandoval's a liar. Sandoval's a liar. Oh my God. I'm married, and after Tom Sandoval's fucking t shirt comment, I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. First of all, t shirt sex is the best kind of sex. I don't know. It's just that he's not creative. He's not a creative fucking person, you know? My, ask my husband. He's here. Chill. Make some noise. He's the hot Latino gentleman. He's like, he's like, please stop talking about me and my dick. But it's great. It's a great dick. It's so, you got to get creative. We've been married now since 2015. You know, you put the t-shirt on, one titty in, one titty out, one titty in, one titty out. We have so much fun. You can make it like a dress, like, ooh, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what did you say? Half warm, half, warm, half gold. <laughs> yeah, one nipple inverted, one nipple not. I love it. <laughs> oh, I hated that comment. I was like, fuck you, Tom. I'm so tired of these gross dudes getting undeserved vagina. Like, let's stop. It's good to stop. You gotta lock it up. Put that shit on lockdown. Let's see what other Bravo things are happening. Uh, Jersey Housewives just concluded. Oh my God, is anybody like a fan of the Teresa Louis that you do? But like, as a fan, let's give her, give her the benefit of the doubt. She might be on mushrooms. Okay, so. I love you. Is your name Teresa? Oh, I get it. I get it, girl. I get it. Give it up for this Teresa. <sighs> I'm a tree stump for you. I'm a tree. But okay, so you like them, okay? I like Teresa. You like Teresa. Uh, Louis, why is his face so red? Oh, alcohol? Okay, yeah. It's, yeah. It's like, liar, liar, your face is on fire. Like, what is. Constant. I don't understand the. Uh, Teresa might pick the worst men of all time. She, you know. And then Danielle, the new addition. You guys a fan of Danielle? Oh my God. She's great. A lot of rocks up here, but great. So great. I love. I love her. I do. I, Cause I love you. I love. I don't love her at all. I feel bad. But it was hard to like focus on anything else but fucking Vanderpump. You know, I tried with Jersey. <laughs> Melissa and Teresa just need to, I don't know, fight. We need like a battle royale or something. Can they just do celebrity boxing, you know, just punching each other's vaginas or something? I don't know, but just make it better. In like a pit of cookies, you know, those, uh, what, the red sauce, yes. Throwing pizza ovens at each other. It's like, it's fine, it's fine, you know. Oh my God, poor Andy. And he had to like live through that. But God, I was excited to see Lala because I like, I don't know, I've gotten so much, like I love Lala. <laughs> She's had such a journey on this show, you know? She's fucking sober, killing it. Did you guys watch the Randall documentary? Oh. Yeah. Right? Oh my God, I never trusted him. If he can't find his neck, he can't do much else. Like I. I was like, no, that's not, that's not gonna work, work for me. But Lala, like I get, I pick up like her spirit. Like I'm from Minnesota originally. So I'm like this Midwestern, any Midwest, okay. Wisconsin, Susie from Wisconsin. Um, we all know each other. If you're from the Midwest, like Susie, she makes tater tot hot dish to Wisconsin. Go pack go. Um, but yeah, Lala, she makes me like, she, she gives me a little bit of like, you know, strength, I feel like. Cause I'll just be like, you ever notice how she always does the gun fingers? Like when she's coming with it, you know? She's like, I wasn't your best friend, ho! It's like, cause before it was like, do you want to get popped? That was her old saying. And now the new one, I wasn't your best friend, ho! And I am saying that shit everywhere. Anyone pisses me off fucking anywhere. I step right up, I get in my lala, I'm like, I wasn't your best friend, ho! 
And they're like, ma'am, just take your grande iced latte with oat milk and fucking leave, you monster. You horrible, horrible monster. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited, Zach's 30, like what a baby. He's a precious little baby. Make some noise if you're over the age of 30. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Make some. He's like, fuck, no, I'm not. Bitch, don't out me. I gave you tea. Don't you look at, look at me. Um, make some noise if you're over the age of 40. My people, my people, I turned. 43 this year, thank you. I know, I don't look, thank you. I don't look a day over zygote. I appreciate it. My dermatologist refuses to give me Botox. What? You can't hang out with me. I've asked her. I bought a home for the first time this year, which is crazy. Thank you, but it had to be out of LA, obviously, I'm a no-name comedian. You guys were like, who the fuck is this bitch? We don't, is that? <laughs> Couldn't they get Heather McDonald? Oh, okay, we'll go with her, we'll go with. I'm sure she's good, I'm sure she's good, you know, but we love Heather McDonald. But I did, I bought a home out in Palm Springs area. I basically only bought a house so that my little niece would stop roasting me. Okay, I have a three and a half year old niece, uh, Lucy, and uh, she lives in Wisconsin where Susie lives. And I don't know if you know this, but in other parts of the country, you can buy homes with space <laughs> and land. The only problem is you have to live in Wisconsin, you know, but I love it there. Um, and my little niece, the first time she came to my West Hollywood apartment, my old apartment, she's three and a half. She walked in and she was like, she had a little speech impediment at the time, so my name is Jolene, but she called me Joeene. <laughs> Super cute, so she was like, um, Joeene, uh, where was you upstairs? <laughs> I was like, oh, baby girl's never been in an apartment before. She's <laughs> never been in poverty. Um, <laughs> It's like, we, uh, this apartment, we don't have those. She was like, oh, okay, okay. Then she was looking around a little bit and she was like, Joeen, why are there people out in your yard? <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's, a, it's an apartment, it's community space, right, sir? Like, you don't get your own yard. That's Ashley, the local drunk cunt who never made it in life. So she's <laughs> gonna make sure no one else can enjoy the artificial turf. Um, <laughs> because she didn't become the new Jennifer Aniston. So, um, but then I could tell like Lucy, you know, kids, they have this great way of like picking up on your feelings where adults are like, fuck it, I don't care. So she could tell maybe I was a little self-conscious. So she just started walking around with like a new perspective. She's like, it's okay, Joeen, that you don't have an upstairs. <laughs> this is pretty nice. I can uh, walk from touch this stair uh, and all, well, what would be a stair, and uh, to this wall and I'm through the whole place. It's, it's good. Perfect size for a three-year-old. It's good. It's okay, Joeen, that uh, you didn't plan financially well and you are now in your early 40s and you have nothing to show for except for one Weight Watchers commercial you did in 2016 when you were 150 pounds and they called you plus size. That's okay, Jolene. <laughs> You're living the Hollywood dream. It's okay. So now she's coming next month, I'm gonna be like, now what, bitch? Now what? <laughs> I got a motherfucking upstairs and a downstairs and a garage. All right, that's... Listen, if Tom Sandoval can sing, I can fucking sing. I can... All of us can. If we can all have the self-esteem of the mediocre Tom Sandoval, that's all you need in life. Anytime, miss, like you're beautiful. Anytime you think you might... We all have doubts. You think you can't do anything? Just think Tom Sandoval is on a motherfucking stage right now, screaming, your sex is on fire into a microphone. Not a note to be found. And he thinks he's killing it. So you can fucking do it. So do the thing you wanna do. And do it now, do it today. This is also my multi-level marketing. Sign up, bring a friend, I'm selling knives. Uh, Oh my gosh, horrible. I do have to um, 
And I want to, uh, you know, we're going to keep this show rolling soon. I'll give you one more real, I love, she's like, no. I'm like, oh my God, stop. I know I'm, I'm very talented. And, um, and so thin. Don't let the fupa fool you. It is just extra, you know. Anybody else? Proud fupa owners? I love, she just la la her fupa. She's like, right here, bitch. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, use that shit as a deadly weapon, women. <laughs> Sir, do you know what a fupa is? <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> I gotta tell, is that Spanish? I gotta tell my husband that. What is that? The bigger the fupa, the better the chalup? The chalup. <laughs> Chell, write that down. No, but the fupa, the fupa is like, oh God, you could use this shit. You gotta think about it. Like we need to not, like this is like this beautiful beast. It's very powerful, okay? It's your first line of defense, ladies, above your baby door. You can knock him off of you. All right, Teresa, he comes getting on you tonight. You're like, get off, you know, just like, hmm. not today. What's your name, Louie? Dennis? <laughs> Oh, cute Louie and Teresa. Uh, um, all right, so since Tom can sing, I'll tell you guys this, this little ditty. Um, now, I don't know, we do have people over 40, so if people remember landlines. Is there anyone too young to remember a landline or didn't have it? Okay, couple back there maybe, okay. So little baby, little baby Gen Z babies. Um, a landline is before cell phones and it literally could only go so far, and you're like, fuck, and then, um, or you had a cordless phone, yeah, it was like, clink, clink, bitch, it was, you were a prisoner to that phone. And I feel bad for Gen Z babies who didn't get to experience a landline only because they never knew the joy of changing their parents' answering machine <laughs> and them not knowing how to change it back. Okay, so picture it. It's 1994. 14-year-old Jolene Lunzer is in love with the number one song in the country, which is Lisa Loeb's Stay. You guys remember that song? I put that whole fucking song on my parents' answering machine. <laughs> and if you don't know, it's a long song, you know? She's like, you say... I only hear what I want to. I don't listen hard. Don't pay attention to the distance that you're running to anyone, anywhere. I don't understand if you really care. I'm only hearing negatives. No, 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 bad. So I... Uh, so I uh, turn the radio on and turn the radio up. And this woman was singing my song. Lovers in love and the others run away. Lovers crying because the other one stay. Some of us have early waiting for the other who is dying since the day they were born. Well, well, this is not that. I think that I'm growing, but I'm grown. And I thought I'd live forever, and now I'm not so sure you try to tell me that I'm clever, but that won't take me anyhow or anywhere with you. You said that I was naive, and I thought that I was strong. Oh, I thought, hey, I can leave, I can leave. Oh, but now I know that I was wrong because I missed you. I missed you, and you say, I only hear what I want to. Ding, 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 to ding, ding. And my dad's Minnesota fishing buddies <laughs> had to sit through that whole fucking song, or they could never talk to my dad again. All right, you guys, let's get this show started. <laughs> You're listening to Hashtag No Filter with Zach Peter. That's me, your naturally platinum blonde pop culture connoisseur. I'm the reality TV junkie, self-improvement addict, and host with only the hottest tea spilled fresh all week long. You're one of my favorite interviewers. They picked us because we're horny. Yeah, right. and that's your chronic state. That's what you've always said. <laughs> Zach, that is really funny. From the latest news on The Real Housewives, deep dives into celebrity legal scandals, and unfiltered combos with your favorite stars. I've got you covered. And yes, I always keep receipts. Woo! All right, you guys, it is now my pleasure to bring my friend, the guy you all came to see, the birthday boy himself, Zach Peter, to the stage! <laughs> 
You gotta pat the puss, pat the puss, pat the puss. Snap, snap, pat the puss. Oh God, you're good, Erica Jane. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys for coming tonight. Oh my God. Last time I was here at the Bourbon Room, I obviously had a co-host. You did. And I was afraid that if I came back solo, people weren't gonna show up for me, Jolene. Um. And they fucking showed up. On my 30th birthday, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, just wanna give a couple of shout outs. First of all, Pure Cane, which is my favorite all natural zero calorie sweetener for making tonight possible. Woo! The cake, the desserts are all sweetened by Pure Cane. Thank you to BioRay for hosting a fab pre-party if you guys were VIP. You got to have some drinks, you got to have some fries. I mean, when we were going over the menu, I didn't realize they were gonna be passing out full meals. They were giving out <laughs> baskets of fries. I was like, shit, I need a fucking basket of fries. <laughs> shout out to the bourbon room. Um, and shout out to the live stream, which is brought to us by Chomps. Hi guys, watching all over. I mean, we have people, who is not local in LA tonight? We have people that drove in tonight. We have a, a woman from Sweden. She took a flight over here. Our front row. That's incredible. Oh my God. I don't think I'm Sweden worthy. Oh, you are. You are. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for coming out tonight and making my 30th birthday so special. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, Jolene, should we rip off the Band-Aid? We, yeah. Remember, it's my birthday, okay? Just remember. So be kind. Just so be kind, because I do have some good news and I do have some it's bad It's like news. tea. Yeah. Tea. There'll be a little tea that we'll spill mm -hmm. about it. Um, so obviously for those of you guys that came to the pre-party, you got to hang out with Lala, take some selfies, have some fun, give them Lala, send it to Daryl. <laughs> That's it. It's no more or what. It's now send it to Daryl. Well. Um, it does break my heart that Lala is no longer able to be in the show tonight. <laughs> I know, it breaks my heart, it broke her heart. We did get a call from Bravo and they said at the last minute they are pulling all casts from doing any podcasts. So the interview will happen at some point. It's just not happening tonight. But we do have some great filling guests that will be here tonight. <laughs> We have MJ from Shaws of Sunset. We have Christian from The Traders and Peacock. And I got some of my friends that are also coming out tonight to spill some tea. Um, but for those of you that came to the pre-party and got to hang out with Lala, she was grateful to get to meet everybody. Yes. Um, and I'm sorry she's not gonna be in the show tonight. She was here, but also what an asshole move on Bravo to do that on Zach's birthday. <laughs> but, we, but fine. We I'm begged, we <laughs> begged and we pleaded and this was a last minute decision. <laughs> No, we like Bravo. <laughs> we do. I don't need another cease and desist. No. <laughs> we love Bravo. <laughs> we love Bravo. Um, but my God, I mean, Jolene, it's been a week. I know. I went and I was like, okay, I have to get ready for the show. So I went to get some Botox and then I ended up with a black eye. <gasps> and then I woke up this morning on my 30th birthday and I threw out my back. Oh so my I had some vodka. God. But your eye... It's helping for now. It's going to hurt again tomorrow. But your eye looks good. Thank you. I'm just telling people that Sheena Shea punched me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sheena also wanted to be here tonight, but I filed the restraining order against her. Yeah. It's physically impossible for her to do that, <laughs> though. Shout out to Rocky Rocky Bang Bang. I love that you call him... What do you call Sandoval? Sandy Butt. I call him Sandy Balls. That's... Because the balls are salty because they've been all over town. <laughs> I like that, Zach, but I'm just not sure he has balls. You know what I mean? So it's like. He's gotta have at least one. Oh, so that's why the eggs never got fertilized. That's exactly. <laughs> you know what's funny? Sandoval's a liar. Sandoval's a liar. Sandoval's a liar. <laughs> Sandoval's a liar. <laughs> so last time we were in this room, it was <gasps> with Sandy Balls. Last year. And Schwartz. I was here. And Sheena. You were here. And Ariana. Yep. 
And everything was great. And I remember that day because they were sitting over there, and I did a joke about the Toms. If you guys are here, and I said, you know, the best thing about the Toms is Ariana. And the Toms were like. <laughs> and I was like, it is. She's the feminist killjoy we need on that fucking show. And turns out she always deserved better, Zach. She did. She deserves somebody that could actually fertilize her eggs. Thank you. When she wants it. Yes. And she's right. And I mean, did you hear? She was offering the back door. I mean, that is. You left all that? All that? Is that how you're keeping your marriage spicy? I do not offer the back door. So I was like, get it, Ariana. Like, this is, this is a backyard. Hers is like, this is a cellar. Hers was like the back of the club entrance, the VIP. I don't. Oh, all right, Jolene. Well, I feel like there's a lot of tea we got to spill. Yes, so yes, yes, we, yes. Should we gear up some tea? Yes. Well, here to help me spill some tea, I had to have some friends that are industry peeps that know all of these people, work with all these people, have interviewed some of these people. So please welcome to the stage, everybody, my friends, Evan, Steven, and Jeff. You brought the whole fucking bottle of rosé up here, Jeffrey. <laughs> because I was like, yo, do I have time to go to the bar? And he was like, no, we're about to go on. And then I was like, oh, and then I just, I'm still mid, I don't know, I'm figuring things out. Uh... Uh, so we have Jeff Epstein, who's the host of the Manic Podcast and a true menace Woo! to society. We have Steven, who you guys know as Woo! the face behind Faces by Bravo. <laughs> he has all the tea. And then we have Mr. Evan Real from Page Six, reporter and host of Virtual Woo! Reality. Woo! All right, gentlemen. Some people sent in some piping hot questions for us that Jolene is going to put us in the hot seat for. All right. But Jeff, can you not tell four-hour stories, please? <laughs> like, we need to keep it concise. Oh. We have a show to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is starting off really well. Okay. <laughs> First up, you guys, uh, we need some hot takes on Real Housewives of New Jersey. The season, we know, just came to an end. Louie is extra mad. Um, how do you guys think the show moves forward? Well, I haven't seen it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, hear me out. Okay. Therese is gone. Yay! I agree. Yay! I agree. It's Keep time. Keep it going. Okay. Time. Keep everybody... That it, everyone else, like Jackie, Jennifer, Jen Fessler, everyone, think about if you guys are selling Sunset fans. Christine being gone, I did not want her to leave, but it was a, it was a reset of the show, right? Let's see, you, the tree huggers love to say Melissa has no storyline. Baby girl, she is your storyline, tree. So let's see all of the, you know, the sides if they have to, they don't have one common enemy. What's gonna happen? Are there Let's any tree stumps in the audience? <laughs> tree. Okay, okay. We love the tree. What if we like? What I, if we phase a tree out? Kind of like Vicky. We already did. No, I, feel I like saw how that happened. She so literally I feel like, got married. Send her off. I feel like that. That's why we had so. That's many the worst analogy. You saw what happened there. Was because <laughs> they were trying to. We got Elizabeth Vargas. Out. But I would. I just. <laughs> Uh, Listen, we love Bargain's Vodka, Jeff. That's not a girl. No. -uh. I just, I, I wouldn't feel right if we wrapped up Teresa's story on a sad note. Like, I feel like we need to get um, Louie. Louie Louis. is literally a sad note. <laughs> Louie is a sad story. If oh we have God. to watch that man on TV for more seasons. But what if we, like, manifest... Bo Deedle Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Come on. But... Let's like manifest together, everyone in this room. Like, we'll say a prayer that something seismic happens with Louis, where like Teresa was, has to like leave him. You know well, what I mean? I was gonna say like, what if uh, he that, gets the a crime too, and she goes the size of her forehead? The person again. <laughs> okay. okay. I feel like you would do. Yo, and his crimes are gonna be darker. Oh. Right? He is. And I don't even watch the show, man. and I just know. 
I just, I feel like this man, like, the FBI's been, like, building a case like a Jen Shaw for a long time. Oh, shit. I just feel like that's coming. And Joe Garga's been talking to his <laughs> FBI Of course. Friends. It's so Caroline, Caroline so sent Tree yeah. to jail, then Jacqueline, now it's Melissa. And Margaret. Oh, and Margaret, yeah. It's, it's like, guess what? Not Joe Judah. The though. FBI sent you to no. jail. Like, they did their own thing, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> she sent herself to jail. Her brain her is, is as big as her forehead. It's just a meatball floating in sauce. Literally. Oh, my God. I love it. Okay, so we got, we got the TN jersey. All right, what about Vanderpump Rules? Okay, so now that Scandaval is wrapped, ugh, tear, um, do you want to see... Tom and Raquel back. Everybody answer. I, but yes, I, guys. You, you wouldn't if you be said interested. no, you don't know what's good for TV, you fucking idiot. I have an idea. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, All hear right. me out again on this. All right, Steven, give it to us. We get two shows. Something about her, all the cast minus the Toms and Raquel. Then another show based on either Tom Tom or Schwartz and Sandys and a whole new cast of young people that are going to fucking cheat on each other. Let's go back to our Nobody's roots. gonna watch a Schwartz and Sandy spinoff. You know what? I, Nobody's gonna watch a something about her spinoff. I mean, it's, I would. it's a way to I would. like. I, I honestly think. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pause you guys for a second. As a panel full of men, women in the audience, how fucking awesome would it be to watch all of the women now coming out of relationships? Katie, about Lala, the Ariana. Killing I don't, well, I don't know if you guys have heard anything, but I heard... I'm a woman that anything. supports women. I'm sorry, about the, sorry. the deli shop? <laughs> no, but about also... Okay, so it's like their redemption tour. They've got a bad edit. It was fucking internalized misogyny the whole time. These bitches are bad. They're dating. They're no. fighting. Jolene, they're traveling. Jolene, I support women, but I don't need a show about a deli shop. <laughs> But I'm they do so much wait, more. They had Cake Boss. Oh, no, Cake Boss wasn't a deli. <laughs> that was a bakery. What are we like? No. What's 7-Eleven getting a show, too? <laughs> Did he say seven? Wait, but no, I did hear that there is a spinoff in the works with the OGs. Yes, right? Jackson, there's Brady. allegedly. I don't know about Saucy um, and Bo. I don't know about Saucy and Bo, but. Jax, Brittany, probably Kristen. There's a, I don't know what they're calling it. Someone said the name of it, yeah. like the working title, but yeah. That was like the old that one. That was the I original don't know if one. It's still the same working title, but yeah. Old school, you said? Okay, um, so do we have a consensus? So we have. Two at the, uh, are saying that you want Tom and Raquel back. I want them on a... I, I but you want them... I see a path forward for them to coexist on a show with, like, I, with I think... Ariana and everybody. So that's yeah. why I'm saying, yeah, if there's going to be no path forward, let's give it two shows. Yeah. Okay. I have a hot take. <laughs> let's try it out. No, let's try I it think... out. Yes. But, like, if no one's got... Here's the problem. If you pull a Lisa Vanderpump or a Phaedra and put yourself on an island and no one films with you, you can't film a show. That's true. I think, no, they can... I think that this should be the final season of Vanderpump Rules. One more season and then do a spinoff. But this should be a short season. And Give me more Charlie. Be, it should be... Fuck Charlie. It should be... <laughs> I agree. Charlie, 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 Charlie. She's so boring. She doesn't even eat pasta. At least I eat gluten-free pasta. Wait. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Charlie's sound bites I think, are the best. Wait, I feel like we could make better use of Charlie. I really do. I think uh, there's more yeah. in her. Oh, my God. I agree, God. Evan. Oh Evan, Jolene, I agree. The secrets Why? revealed. The secrets revealed last night. It's the my way fucking she... birthday. <laughs> If that girl with the dry ass when hair I with the chapstick, both. I don't want her to look Jack. at me ever again. Oh, oh, what's her, Christina <laughs> well, that's Kelly? What Charlie said about Christina Kelly. Oh, that was good because I do you know what was so great is I <laughs> didn't even know Christina class. Kelly had chapstick, chapstick until Charlie said it. <laughs> Can I tell you from the early seasons, I've always disliked Christina Kelly. The energy oh. she brings is so Wait, like y'all. If you watch the early seasons of Vanderpump, and I know a lot of you have. Christina Kelly, Kelly was like grade A mean girl. Like she, she was, was so. Awful. You have to like think about the way she treated Sheena. We're all loving awful. Sheena currently, sitting in her little trailer, drinking her white claw, eating her sun chips. She just like like the fact that someone was ever rude to that. Well, that's just because oh, she yes, lives indeed. in Santa Monica. They're she all was, like that. Uh, Wait, uh, what is it? <laughs> So true. So true. So true. Okay, All right, like, you guys. All right, so Vanderpump, we got you guys are kind of mixed. Tom, Raquel, back. Yeah, you got chapstick for us. We can all share. Right, yeah. I love it. Yes. Uh, thank, thank you, <laughs> sir. Wait, is, is it Christina 
Kelly. Kelly. Is that her oh chapstick? No. I'm such an idiot. I'm going to smell That's it. I'm not going to put it on. Wait, it is that Christina really Kelly? Good. How nice. is it? It's tinted. And how is it? I will say, I have actually okay. heard it's amazing and chapstick. See, now, thanks to Charlie. I may not be a fan of her, but I have heard it's actually really good chapstick. Is this Zach's Jeff birthday? Like, I don't give a fuck about <laughs> chapstick. Pour me some more wine. It's tinted. It's tinted. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, we are finishing that baby off. All right, okay, you guys. All right. Glass uh, we're up here. Okay. <laughs> Now, we were all, all of us, everybody, was here last year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, and define here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, your body was, but, you know, it's, yeah. yes. I mean, blackout is a state of mind. You know, it is. I, I blame the Toms. I, I love it. No, I love Jeff, it. it's yeah. a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Okay. Uh, so we were here last year when the Toms were in the show. They were sitting on stage. We were all like, we still like them. Uh, Sheena was here. Ariana was here. Now, I did not go out later that night because I am an alcoholic. So I went home with my husband and had t-shirt sex. Did anything... Yeah. Thank you. Did <laughs> t-shirt sex... Um, did anything go Wait, down? You can have sex with a t-shirt, but no socks. Like the socks. Oh can no! Be done because sex. sometimes, like knee no, high that socks. Is the, that's where I draw I the line. I have shaved since the pandemic, bitch. What? Wait, sock? You want socks on or off? Ah, I feel like. Well, I feel I like there's like, it. at least in the gay world, the, the trend of like the high. Yeah, socks. I will say that's why I was like, you lost me there. Just, yeah. just like a high sock. Well, yeah. I'm like, wow. Well, oh <laughs> wow! Wow! And like, but like, if need be. Are, you're just trying to get fucked tonight. What? You're you're yes. pimping yourself out right saying. now. Thank you. She said guys oh, like to wear the yes. socks. Girls okay. like to wear the shirt. What did she say? Guys like to wear the socks because mostly it's men that'll come to bed with socks, not women. And girls like to wear the shirts. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm okay kind of with what... the girl. I'm okay if I have sex with a woman and she's wearing a shirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> Boxer, I'm boxers, boxers. I support that. I'm so happy you said that. Um... <laughs> okay, so we okay, have to get question. to. Did anything happen that night that you can now share? Ufa, mufa. Please oh, tell. Oh wait, Jeff uh, went out with them that uh, night. Jeff. Je Jeff went out. Well, um, first, Jeff was blackout out with them. No, I was fully present. Ground out. Ground out. Oh, you went out too. We both. He and met Ryan Bailey right, too. He right? met us. Sorry, because we were all ripping cigs on the sidewalk outside. Um, bitch, you met us. <laughs> no, <laughs> you. So blackout. In the second place. Oh, the second place. Yeah, just kidding. And then I took a bird school. He got kicked out um, of the bar. Did I really? Jeff, you did. I'm so proud oh, of you. Oh, for signing Raquel's check on accident. Yes. What? Well, yeah, okay. They, so oh, yeah. she was Sorry. supposed to, I got a call that morning asking from Tom's manager to put Raquel on the list for that night. <gasps> uh, she wasn't here, but we were at the second place. So she met was, up with I remember Tom was crying. At the time, I didn't think any, anything of it, but Tom was like, oh, yeah, Raquel's coming, and he met her, and she came. So this was last April. April. Meaning 14 months ago. That adds up with the Coachella hot tub yes. conversation. And Ariana was with us before. She was being lovely. And then Ariana's she met, as amazing and then as somebody, usual. Wait, why did I sign her <laughs> check, though? We, I don't know, but she, they literally it was like a big kerfuffle, yeah. Or something. No, and I was like, I thought I was signing my card when they gave it back, but apparently it was her check, and I signed Jeff Epstein <laughs> on Raquel's check. And it was like, ah, oh, and I was like, well, I'm signing something. At least I'm not leaving. Like, she was like, it's okay. <laughs> She's like, well, why are you so this to me? <laughs> bringing it back to the, this was last April, right? And the Coachella of it yes, all? Yes, yes. Okay, this is a really far-fetched theory that I've had. I love but it. But I'm going to go into it. Give it Spit to it us, out. Stephen, give it. it. Who the fuck spends $35,000 on someone else's engagement? <laughs> Unless there's something else going on no, no, there. No, no, but honestly, yeah. thing, but then you reverse that and you're like, but then. Unless there's are... something else yeah. there. Yes. No, why would you. And that... no one's addressed that, I feel like. Well, I feel like everybody online's addressed it. No, but that's no like one, everyone's addressed it. But no one's like addressing it, like linking the two, like the affair and. Yeah. <laughs> Send them. I like this hair. guy. <laughs> always a banger, always a banger. Okay, so we have the check signing. We also have that she, she was put on the guest list requested by Sandoval what around the time of stuff? Coachella. Right? 
which adds up with the story that Nima told Sheena. Sheena Marina Del Rey. <laughs> um, Nima was gonna take Raquel to Hannah Burner's wedding. Did I spill some tea that? I don't think he posted? said that on the Power Podcast, did he? Well, Nima's told me that. Oh, and uh, oh, and when was Hannah's wedding again? Oh, I don't know, but Unclear. it didn't end up happening. I don't think. Well, yeah, I don't. You think only you fit so many dicks in her. one lady. You can't. I mean, yeah, you have Peter, you have Oliver, you have Sandoval. Like, Nima's on the East Coast. What? Wow. Wow. And Zach, I would say both, both Toms <laughs> were slob <laughs> bobs. Oh I mean, my God. They were Tom so Schwartz I, last time. here was a blackout. They were fucked up on stage. Literally. Oh, yeah. I feel like they, they went on for like an extra hour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure that Schwartz showed my mom. My mom was here. My um, 68-year-old mom, Nana, was here. Nana. And she was excited to meet Schwartz, and he showed her... His, his dick. ass. Oh. Where, did he Wait, end up but she oh. asked for the dick, but he wouldn't. Oh, they did end up going. I, that's my bad. Uh, she has a tattoo. You know, she ass. saw the Bubba tattoo. Sorry. She saw the Bubba. Oh. I think she might have saw the LVP too. Oh, Because remember oh, he got the LVP. Oh, wow. okay. Bye -bye. Wait, and then now that I remember, I forgot what it was. He it showed was it on like, stage too. Probably. Didn't he show his ass on stage? They were drunk yeah. though. It was they were this lit. dark hole in the wall bar, and if I remember. Oh, yeah. I remember actually I was catching up with Ariana because I knew her from like. It was like 10 years it ago. It was like, and oh. I feel like Tom and Raquel were sitting together in the corner with Tom, Tom Schwartz, who was like, literally, I feel like blacked out, slumped over. <laughs> Coming then, from the person who got kicked out and of the then, bar. No, no, but I remember that. <laughs> then there was the check signing incident. <laughs> I feel like check, that was not an checking. accident. I feel like you've signed somebody else. You've signed your tab on other people's cards before. No, no, but here's the thing. That means like, I still put mine on, so somebody must have signed mine. They could have put even more. Raquel did. So she signed mine, I signed hers. But maybe Why give you a were large tip? signing Tom Sandoval's because remember, Raquel doesn't pay for her stuff. James paid for her before, and now someone's always... Well, Sandoval paid for paying. her proposal her as well. Her proposal, oh. yeah. No wonder. Right. Okay, you guys, we got to move on from that, but I like, I like that little <laughs> tea spill. All right, Zach. Yeah. Um, so you revealed that, you know, she was added to the guest list. That is just, I'm still... That is... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I, but she didn't end up coming, that bitch. That's... Did she ever give you a reason? Or, but she hung out after, but she didn't come to your actual show. She had to douche. <laughs> <laughs> not douche. It's, you shouldn't douche. It's not good for you. <laughs> PH. That's how Sandy Bells likes it. Wait, do ladies Remember douche? Remember, you're salty. <laughs> well, I don't... I'm sorry. Never, never mind. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me one. Pet buy me one. Okay, sorry, no, no. Uh, Oh my God! Okay, Evan. Yeah, that's right. Oh wait, it's Jeff's birthday too. It was wait, yesterday. Just... Yeah. It, oh. Woo! So yeah, buy him a shot. If you're trying to take him home tonight. Uh, 32. Oh. Woo! That's okay. so cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> happy birthday. She's like loser. Um, <laughs> all right, Evan. You've interviewed a lot of celebs. Um, can you tell us who's been the most annoying? And tell us many. I'm sure there's been. I, I wish Julia Lemigova was here so she could say, it's Larsa. It, it's Larsa. It's Larsa Pippen. Oh. And I, I really enjoy Larsa Pippen on The Real Housewives of Miami. That's why every interview that I've had, I've always been like a little disappointed because she's giving you everything, but she's also giving you nothing. Um, so I, I appreciate her on the show. She is a tough interview because she doesn't really like to go deep. However, I will say I just interviewed her and her man, Marcus Jordan. They launched a new Woo! podcast. And now they're going like full throttle with the relationship. And they were lovely. They were open. They were candid in the interview. So I think that she's in a better space. So I don't know. Hopefully I, the interviews with Larsa just get better from here on. You know what drives me nuts about her? And I, again, don't even really watch that show. But... <laughs> When she talks, she talks like Kylie Jenner, where like with her S, she's like, yes, yes, and so, yes, and that's Marcus, and yes. <laughs> but see, I, I like that. that. Yo, I cannot deal with that. I truly, I have no tolerance I, for I it. love it. I just wish she would like say more when she's, um, so, um, so, um, so. Evan and I were talking about this. I feel like I would feel terrible for the producer who has to do her like confessionals because they probably get so like a few like amazing one-liners, yeah. but the eight hours of like 
dust. <laughs> yeah, because she has she has a sharp tongue, like, and she can like annihilate someone like yes. with four words. But uh, you know, it's only four words. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not very intelligent words. I have to say though, I mean, I did not want her to come back on the I reboot, see. and I am so thrilled she's back. Yeah, she. Is she delivers for me in a way, although I will say, being a nurse, yeah. I oh, was, were you upset? Yeah, I was very uh, um, offended on that comment to oh, get a real fucking job, but, but you, you know, don't just put people to sleep, you yeah. save them, you know, you know, yeah. just someone like commented, and they were like, Does she not remember when she gets her like plastic surgery that someone puts her to right. sleep? <laughs> right. <laughs> Hopefully they don't put her to sleep for good next time. Um, they hear that comment. All right. Uh, moving on. Steven, you know all the housewives, okay? A little slut bag. Um, <laughs> um, you're super popular. Uh, who would you say surprised you in the best way? Which housewives surprised you in the best way? Um, probably Dorit. <gasps> Dorit? She, she is the best. Dorit is the best. Tell, Dorit? Tell me. Is one, I have to say, she might be not only the kindest housewife I've ever met, but she remembers everybody sh that she speaks to. She, she gives you the. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wasn't in glam yeah. the whole time. <laughs> no, I, I'm not kidding. I cannot speak one ill word about that woman. She I had a shocked me because well. I felt like. When you watch the show, you expect this air that she's gonna have, right? Yeah. Because she is, she gives off this air. But she is literally the kindest woman and will literally make you feel like you're the only person in the room. Xanax and cigarettes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I did see no, her I've, outside I've her. She's actually a picture yeah. with a cigarette. I didn't know she smoked. I was like, oh, Dorit, so many layers. I met her once, and she like leaned down, and she had a drink, and the straw fell out of her drink, and she was wearing a tube top, and was literally <laughs> sticking like completely out in between her titties, and was just talking, and I was like, oh, you're straw, and she was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? what was that? I was like, yo, I, lo I love her so much. But Steven, did you get any Beverly Beach by Dorit? I did get some Beverly Beach by Dorit. I did love, I, I love the, um, the bag. I got Cute. one. Cute. Have you met Boy George? I have not met Boy George yet. Oh, uh, you got to give us the tea oh, yeah. when you do. Okay, so speaking of who surprised you in the best way, who surprised you in the worst way? And if you could name five, that'd be great. Thank you. I have a few. Okay, this is going to shock. I feel like this will shock you, too. Um, Rinna. Oh, yeah. That doesn't oh, in the shock worst me. Way. <laughs> in a word, but like, but you would be shocked that I would say that, right? Yeah. I do love Rinna, in a, but when I met her, it was one of the biggest disappointments. Really? Oh, no. Um, it was at Watch What Happens Live. Um, I wore my winner, my Rinna wig and everything, and it was like... Even in the Rinna wig. I... Wore my rent yes. It was the night she With had the Joker glasses. She wig. sent wow. you a wig? It was the night of the Joker glass. Well, maybe oh, she was in character. Okay. She was like in her villain era. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that wasn't the real rent. Well, no, era. so so we're, we're backstage after the show, and she looks over at me, and she says, oh, you've always been nice to me. Come here, let's get a picture. And I was like... Oh, don't meet your heroes, man. That's exactly... That's true. Paul, what did I tell you? I'm like, these don't ladies are your heroes. heroes. about Rena, right? Anyway, Giselle That's Bryant... Fun. Oh. Huge letdown, always. Oh, Wait, why does everyone next. say that? Everyone. Oh, well, I can give that. it uh, concrete examples, but um, w one being like one of my good friends. When we actually, the f fun fact, the finale of season was it three or four was actually supposed to be Monique's live podcast, but it ended up being Karen Huger's Ladom launch instead. Okay. And it was because Giselle, Robin, and I think Ashley ended up showing up like halfway through like the event. Like they didn't like, no, Ashley, no, Ashley was in it. Never mind. Sorry. Robin and Giselle. Yeah. But anywho, my friend was so excited to meet Giselle and his parents went to the same HBCU that she went to and she could not have paid him less or more dust about at all. And then eventually we were in an elevator with her she had a security guard and she looked at like 
three of us and she literally backed into a corner and was as if we were like she thought monique said i respect it <laughs> she, thought, she thought yeah exactly it was just one of the weirdest experiences and i think oh. i just think she's she's dark oh my goodness okay so we got rena giselle well another disappointment um keep going <laughs> Keep, keep, keep them coming, keep them coming. We love I it. like, I toy with this one a little bit. Spit it out. There was a moment, Lisa Vanderpump has disappointed me. Oh. Really? I know, and I mean, like, I, the way I just like. <laughs> oh, I guess I, 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 what, what a surprise. What do you guys <laughs> know? Surprise. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking you about. Can't Who is touch this her? man? <laughs> Literally. No, she's the wax. What was her worst offense? Mouse. Watching the way she spoke to people that worked for her whenever the cameras aren't on is very interesting. I'll tell you that. Oh. And I actually wasn't huh? paying attention. It's interesting uh. to, to see how she treats people that works for her when the cameras are not around. Uh, and now our special guest, Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> she looks like she's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hate to put you on the spot again, Stephen. That's three solid. Can we get two more? Okay. Um, <laughs> these are so good. <laughs> Let's see. Don't fuck it up. Drag, drag. Sorry, that's not nice. Oh, Ooh. well, it's kind of just Shannon Bedore. Oh. She's oh. kind of. Oh, I've also. At, at was it at? She's yes. Um, yeah. Literally awful to she's anyone that is not worthwhile yeah. to her. She's a monster. She's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> However, I love her. Yeah. I will say, I was there. So the day, um, that she was f the first day she was filming with Bronwyn on season fifteen or fourteen or fifteen or something, she did come in hot at, from drinking till six a.m. with John. Oh. Oh, healthy. Ate half a pizza before going in while I watched our That girl a lush. <laughs> that girl a lush. She's a floozy. Well, um. everything that Tamara <laughs> is saying is true. <laughs> That's the guy no, with I'm the bottle with, of I'm wine on I respect it. I respect it. I understand. I mean, I feel like and I'm I a Shannon that. Potter. That's why I'm struggling, because like I respect her eating that half a pizza. Yeah. Of course. This but, is but even my fucking plate. Like, like it was her plate. It was oh, wait, her I plate. Actually, this is a great story. <laughs> this is a blend of Lisa and Shannon. Wait, Lisa, so, which Lisa? Uh, Lisa Vanderpump. I went to the 2019 Lisa Van or the dog gala. Sh I was with Bronwyn. Shannon was so mean to me. I, we were in an Uber at, like later that night going to TomTom. Tom. She was so mean to me. I found out later the reason she was so mean is she thought Bronwyn brought a producer that was going to kick her <laughs> off the show. Oh, my what? God. You were the producer that was going to kick her off the show? <laughs> she thought I, Shannon thought I was, like, one of the producers or something. Why did she think that? I have I mean, look at idea. him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, well, and she was pissed about our table placement. In this fucking blazer. Because oh. our <laughs> table placement was right in front, and she... She was right in a more private that. area. Oh, I just had right. dinner with Shannon at The Quiet Woman. <laughs> she, she ain't that quiet. And, no, she was not quiet, but it was a, actually a really <laughs> lovely experience. Um, Tamara and Taylor Armstrong were with us as well, and they actually confiscated her, her plate so that she <laughs> could <laughs> throw it at me. But, was uh, David there? Was David there? So David came later that night. Okay. But I was not there when David came. Are they just doing this to piss off Leslie? Because yeah. it's so great. I, I'm catch. Yes, that's. I what asked. I'm catching. And did you ask? And I got confirmation. They still hate each other. I was like, no girl scoring more than David a and Shannon though, hate each other's so guts. Gotta, oh. Well, per what when I asked about the selfie, I was like, does this mean they're like cordial now and they were like absolutely Wait, not. remember oh. when we told Shannon that my name is Jeffrey Epstein? Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I was like, I know that. Oh wow. I know. That's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, oh wow. That was listen, there were some things cut from last season of OC. We that... literally Oh my gosh. Okay, Steven, one more, just one more and then you're done. You're off the hook. Um, okay. So we got Giselle, we got Shannon. Rena. We got Rena. Um, Lisa Vander. I just don't want to believe it, but see, I. I'm trying to think. I, there's really. Oh, I've. 
I mean, I, I think Teresa's awful, but like she's, she's just so dumb that you can't help it. <laughs> um, oh, she's so dumb. It's so sad. But, um, oh wait, somebody said, what about Erica Jane? Good question. Oh! Good question, good question. I actually, so I finally met Erica Jane this year. She's actually say, lovely. She's lovely. Yes. <laughs> And I have to say, she might be on her comeback. Yeah, I think this is guys. I never left. Yeah. No need for a comeback. I yes, never left. yes. The white party. Yeah, she slayed her performance. Slayed it. All right. Thank you, Stephen. That was amazing. All right, she got Jeff. Got that Ozempic power. Okay. Jeff Epstein. We're moving on to you. Oh no. What? Two minute limit, Jeff. You have a two minute limit. Okay. Wait, sorry. What? Jeff in Jeff world, because we know, like, you've seen some wild shit, but what's the wildest thing you've seen a Bravo Leb do in your presence? A Bravo Leb? Yeah. Wait, what happened to me with what? Wait, with I know you have stories. And I've name heard the 20. Story. Uh, wait. Uh, no, don't tell that. Oh, wait, no. you, me, and. No. Wait, tell it. Oh, I don't well, know. That... what is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> wait, well, sorry, everyone's telling a lot of different things here. Let's focus. Let's focus. <laughs> um. Uh, well, no, that wasn't the wildest actually was with, the wildest I don't think I would say. Cause it was with, it was last 4th of July. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's I would not say that one. You I have to though. Wait, what can Give Steven us a say? hint. Listen, I've been around plenty of coke at the Vanderpump Rules cast, I'll say that. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. uh. Was it Graham? Is Graham doing coke? What's no, <laughs> I mean, well listen, all right, I, the Noella thing. I think we knew Noella before she was on the show. And I met her, and she was like, and I was like, oh, what's up? My name is Jeff. And somebody's like, oh, his real name, or his full name is Jeffrey Epstein. And she was like, I used to date the real Jeffrey Epstein. And we were like, what? We literally, our mouths were Rock. like, what are you talking about? And she goes, yeah, he finger blasted me when I was 17. <gasps> <gasps> oh my God. And this was on I, camera. I, I, this gives me, I get anxiety. So I, I walked to, I would go, well, I need a anxiety. drink. Actually, and I walked to the bar. I think Noella, she's very nice. Noella, for my off probation party, brought me on a party bus around Orange County. I was, I was on probation for a long time. Um, she, she's still around. What do you think she died? I she's love with us. Um, I love Noella, by the she's way. She's actually so nice. So I she feel is literally. Yeah. I think justice for Noella. She should have come yeah. back. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, I hope if she, I, this gives me anxiety. If she sees this, it's like I think you're amazing. I, I um, but yeah, she was like, I she finger that guy finger blasted me when I was 17. Oh my god. So that was kind of wild. <laughs> Yeah, and the rest I'll keep shut. <laughs> on that note. All right. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. listen, actually on my Patreon, I'm not even like trying to sell this, on the Manic Patreon. Oh, not behind back, a paywall, no, Robin and Giselle. Have, not behind. No, I really, I have spilled more stuff about, yeah. Wait, government what? You think I'm in, the, in cahoots yeah. with the government? <laughs> really? The Mr. Two Felonies over here? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Let's yes, talk more about than the Teresa. I hope they're not listening to the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if they're listening to the Patreon, I'd be in cuffs again. <laughs> like, well, I don't think so. Yeah. Support content creators. Find out on Patreon. All right. <laughs> Zach, we have to move on to the birthday boy. So it's a little bit of... I don't have any fun finger blasting stories. Well, though. I have a specific inside. Zach wants to get finger blasted for his birthday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have a specific like. And Jolene's inside. doing it. <laughs> I filmed it. I said you're doing it. Oh yeah. He's doing it. Okay, so it's a little inside this world of content creation, Bravo blogger, stuff like that. When is the last time you spoke to Adam from Up and Adam? Would Oh. Why can't I talk about finger blasting? The darkest question of the night. <laughs> you thought Jeffrey Epstein was dark. And what's going on? Because I love um, both of you. When was the last time I talked to him? Yeah. No. Uh, we haven't been allowed to speak on the phone for a minute. So all our communication has been via text. But why? Um, Como se dice allowed? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What, what happened? Allowed? We have to know. Allowed. Well, I mean, listen. I've we've not spoken okay, let on him the answer. phone because I have I've tried I've tried to talk through things with Adam. Um, so I don't even know if the person that I'm texting is Adam or it's 
somebody else. <laughs> but um, no, I mean it's not. <laughs> it sounds like he's in a conservative. This is like Scott Peterson dark. <laughs> like, uh, this is dark. Um, <laughs> So last time we talked was, or last time we texted was, I think, February, because he went on Sheena's podcast, and Sheena asked him if anything happened, and he's like, no, I love Zach, he's amazing. And then I had a, a you the know... The screenshot? Drinking and tweeting <laughs> moment. And I was like, really? We're okay? Because the last text messages you sent me were fucking vile, and I posted them on Twitter. Um, I missed this whole post. Can you give a little synopsis? Like, no, Stephen, wake up. <laughs> uh, no, he basically said, like, you know, you're welcome for building your YouTube channel. And I'm, he just like took a lot of credit for like things that I did in my career. And I was like, I've been around before up and Adam and I'll be around after. No, we're not gonna fuck up in. No, 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 no. Listen, I will say this. We had a, D, a, a cordial conversation via text last time we spoke, which was back in April after the Sheena thing. Um, I love you both. I hope you guys can actually. Me too. I would I like to make up. Honestly. I would like to make up. But I let's think all put it out there into the hardly universe. Hardly knew ye. I that. would. I don't know. I yeah. No, I have no issue. I would be fine with it. We have but to make you... someone get Adam on the phone or Jason right no, now. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, oh my I'm God. God. I love that. Stephen. Will be the yes, yes, yes. I'm yes. gonna get it's his get birthday. Katie Maloney rage text do it, do it. for Adam talking about that. Oh. Lower power. I will get a flood of Katie Maloney rage. Uh, someone get Stephen's phone. We're gonna make this happen. I love you guys no, too listen. much. I would Wait, love to make it. Wait, Stephen, you fucking. Oh no, it's your wallet. Let's do it. Let's I do would. it. Let's make they it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Oh my god. There is no reason that wait, wait, wait. yes, do it. Do it. Listen. I am the oldest one on this panel. There is no reason the two of you attractive men cannot be friends and also Jason. And you guys had a killer show last year and it's your birthday. I have chills. Okay. So wait. let's make up. Let's make this, up. I would love to make up. Wait, but yeah, what with, with both of us? Yeah. What or, would need to happen for you to move on? Uh, well, I mean, he accused me of trying to fuck his husband. So, he, so oh, okay. Well, Which never happened. Cancel so the call. Never Cancel are, the call. Cancel the call. Are, are we not doing it? Hold on. So, he, no. They said wait, I'm not allowed block, to say not. anything negative about them or they will tell people that I tried to fuck Jason. That was the threat, and I have the text message to prove that. What? Can we do like And the then Instagram I just found out FaceTime? from somebody last week that they're telling people that I tried to fuck Adam. So I would like to move forward, but there are things that are Okay, sorry, messy. Steven. I didn't know it was that deep. And I never uh, tried to fuck uh, anybody. I was like, are you sure? I, I, I literally, I never asked. Listen, I would like so. to be on good terms with people. Yeah. I just, you know, it got to a fuck. <laughs> 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 I was never your best friend, Hal. But I never oh, tried to fuck either of them. Yeah. That's oh my god! A I wow. first of all, I like men with jobs, and Adam was like a. Brother. I have to go. I, have to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, that was family friendly. Um, That's why I was like, I was shocked. I was like, you really want to do this? I <laughs> honestly, I had no idea. I don't ask. And I just assumed things would be okay. I I thought but I'm glad we un I, unveiled let's it. Let's give Evan a question. All right. Like his, his answers are always really soft. Nice. Okay. They're nice. Not Evan, soft. is there an OG housewife you want to see back on their respective show? Or see, why does he get the fucking easy a question? A crossover because he doesn't fuck other people's spouses. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, you're just so sexy. You're just, so, okay. Maybe it does. Evan, oh, sorry. Know. OG housewife, you want to see back on their respective show or on like a crossover, ultimate girls trip, something? I, okay, so clap if you agree with me, Portia Williams. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. I mean, yeah, but there's better choices. Ms. Victoria Gumbelson. No? Here's the problem with Vicky. Here, I, wait, <laughs> while wow, I will agree. Real quick. <laughs> Oh no. Are you out of your oh, fucking mind? She'll give us nothing. She had tinsel hair. What? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take a Vicky. I'll take a Brandy Glanville. She oh wore oh yeah, I want like Brandy. Hair. I would like Brandy back. Um, I like Brandy back. While I, I, I would agree with you on I'll Vicky. take a Kim Richards. Wait, Jeffrey, this, oh, isn't, or Kim. this isn't your question. Kim? Well, nobody's fucking speaking. 
I would agree with you on Vicky if we got Vicky like early season Vicky. Mm. Yes. Like, yeah. Well, Correct. I think the Correct. men Correct. have ruined Vicky to a point where she'll never deliver what we want from her. That's my only issue. Well, She's that such a and mouth. the vaccinations ruined her. Oh, that's all, yeah. Um, um, Ramona Ramona's Singer, my yeah, legend, my, my queen. She, there's oh, no yeah, legacy she's without here, Ramona. Yeah. Um, I would Wait, love Wait, this wasn't a, your question. I'm gonna, uh, I, I, did I, you right, ever? Right. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I think Portia Williams would be Portia, great. Portia. Yes. I, speak up. Okay. I think Brandy Glanville would be great, I know. Brand. Woo! I think she'd be awesome. What's the tea on, what's the true tea on what happened on Girls Trip? <laughs> Does I mean, anyone know? I mean, I've, I've, I've gotten like heard. one side, but I don't know the other side. Yes. I've, I've heard both sides, and it's basically kind of what's out there. Like, Talking about the lesbian stuff? What? Yes, yeah, yes, the lesbian stuff, yes. Yeah, but is um, it kind of like how they built up this thing with the ultimate girls trip with Leah, and it was like, mm, it's not quite what they said. So are we going to see a situation <laughs> similar with Caroline and Brandy? What about the saddest send-off for somebody as Leah I, McSweeney? Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Literally. Like, she fell for the worst housewife trick in the book. Your second season thinking you're all that. Yes. Leah um, McSweaty. Oh! Listen, but if you listen back, I spoke in the first episode of season one, <laughs> of her first season. I was like, this girl's not Someone it. Someone just said Kelly Dodd. Feel oh, thoughts? Oh, I, I, I would bring back Kelly. I would bring back Kelly. Great, listen. I debated monster, a monster of a person, but great TV. I don't care. <laughs> season 11 of OC, I was seriously, sh prove me wrong, is the best season. No! Season you. 9, Shut Shannon's up, Steve, first fucking season. Loser. Is it the Ireland Iconic. season 11? Right. Is that Ireland season 11? Yes. yes, I agree. Thank you. Agree. Let's do two more season questions. Nine. I can separate the monster the from the character. Yeah. Come on, Shannon's first season, iconic. I see now, what you're not, saying. Not All right, Evan, I'm so glad we let you answer that question. Yeah. I'm so Thank sorry. Thank you, Evan, a delight. <laughs> I just want to say I he would not honestly... bring back Kelly Dodd. The most professional out of all of us. <laughs> Poor Evan. Okay, so no to Kelly Dodd? No, no, the spirit of Satan resides within her soul. And do you know what? When I was at Which means uh, great dinner TV. at The Quiet Woman, Tamara said the same exact thing. So Wow. From Tamara's lips to God's uh, ears, not No Satan's. Rick Leventhal then. What a bummer. Oh. My other return suggestion is actually ended up being a better situation. Phaedra going to Married to Medicine. Oh, yes. yeah. I'm excited Phaedra. about that. If you don't watch Married to Medicine, it's the best show on Bravo. It's so good. Promise. Very good. All right, Jeff, we're coming back to you. Oh, we're going to do a kill, bang, marry, okay? Marry, bang, kill with Jeff. Mauricio. I'm Mary the Ginger. No, sorry. No, sorry. Evan Goldschneider. Wait, what? From Jersey. Or uh, Joe Gorga. Sorry, I... Oof. So Mauricio, Evan, Joe Gorga, Mary, bang, kill... All right, I don't see I don't see it with Mauricio or Joe Gorga. Joe Gorga is two foot six at best. Um, Mauricio's got a heavy gut, and <laughs> Ed Goldschneider is a stud McMuffin, a baby boy, a mwah. Who? So I wish I could just fuck and marry Evan, and the other two. Uh... Evan is my ultimate. I really? Love, I love Evan yeah, Goldschneider. Mauricio, okay, as a person, he seems lovely. So I would marry him yes. while fucking Evan. No, and so I would well, fuck, and but also loaded. Evan sweet, seems like a nice, sweet babushka himself. So I would, but if I had to, for the sake of the game, I would fuck Evan, marry Mauricio while finding <laughs> open with extracurricular sexual activity <laughs> and kill Joey Schmoey, but whatever. Joey Gorga, okay, so you're killing Joey Gorga, you are marrying Evan, and you're fucking Mauricio, or are you I marrying Mauricio? Dick. Marrying Mauricio, okay. Oh. Steven, now you're up. Kill, bang, marry. Oh, these are good, these are good. PK. <laughs> Ken Todd. And Mr. No Teeth, New Teeth, Brooks. <laughs> oh. I'll marry PK. Okay. PK, just honestly, justice for PK. I think PK's great. He's gonna fuck Brooks, I know it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Brooks. Oh my oh, god! I know, I know, I know, I know. And I'm gonna kill Ken Todd. I knew it. Oh, I would definitely sit on Ken Todd's face before I would fuck Brooks. Guys, 
Do y'all remember Girth Brooks? I knew that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I remember Teeth no, that Decay man is from I would never Owl touch Girth Brooks ever. I know it. Teeth or no teeth? You were a great sport. That was a great sport. Okay, now we're going to do um, a couple questions from the audience, okay? So if you have a good question for this panel, Bravo related, you've been dying to ask them, just shout out and I'll come to you. Okay, we're going into oh, this God. section. The darkened section. Okay, state your name, your weight, your age, and your She's question. She's like, way Ozempic. No, so. My name is Trevor. Yeah. I weigh 165, and I am 33 years old. Oh, my God, my goal weight. That's so cute. All right. Um, my goal weight's my birth weight. Oh, that's so cute, too. All right, your You'll question. Never see it. <laughs> my question is for Jeff. How did you sign Raquel's check? Raquel or Rachel? I signed it, Jeff Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> did it say Raquel or Rachel? No, I literally signed my name. I thought it was No, a... but what did the check say? He was blackout. Out of a fu I woke up in my bed with my sneakers on. <laughs> and then I went to CrossFit and did deadlifts drunk. <laughs> All right, you guys. Next question from the audience. Lovely, what is your name? My name is Tammy. Oh, oh. Oh, is it Tammy Sue? Tammy Sue? Hey, yes, it is. Uh-huh. Okay, so since it's Zach's birthday, I want to know from the panel, who from the Bravo world would we set Zach up with? Ooh. Good question, Tammy. Good question. What was the question? Who from who? the Bravo world should, would you set Zach up with? Oh. Ah! <laughs> he has a great answer. Okay. I don't know why that one, but... Wait, what's your answer? Evan, you also know this person. You know, uh, Ooh, tell me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna. I know. I'm gonna hold back on that. Just say it all. Just mention it all. Uh, we'll figure it out. Or no, you don't. Did someone say Sandoval? Not Sandoval. Sandoval. Oh, say it all. What's the answer? I'm not. I don't feel like my ESP is working, so I don't know what they're thinking. Teresa Judice's father. <laughs> <laughs> in his pajamas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, in the pajamas. I'm trying. To there's the not. Pajamas? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of like gay guys on Bravo. You would think there would be more. Right. Everybody's right. a little bi. Narrow it down. Okay. Wait. Actually, top or bottom or verse. That's not nice. Verse. Or, yeah. Verse. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of the gays on Bravo. James Kennedy. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. would work. I didn't say that. Maybe James Kennedy, yeah. I mean, he's met Logan in the bathroom before. Oh! oh. I think James, I'm a James apologist. I think James is so hot. I love him. Yeah. I love he's him. He's absolutely living great. foul. All right, Evan. Actually, he's getting more attractive. Our true professional, who do you <laughs> think? Who do I think? Yeah. Um, God, that's really hard. I, I truly am. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> at a loss for words, because I'm really trying to think of like a gay guy on Bravo, which is really sad. I feel like we should have more gay guys on Vanderpump Rules. Yes. Um, but. Oh, I know one. Sutton's a sister. Should I go on there? <laughs> oh, he said, oh! I don't know I, why I, I feel that. like you were catching our, <laughs> what we were thinking here, but Sutton's a sister. Wait, that was, what? Wait, Sutton's, what? Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Sutton's former assistant, Josh. I think he's like still. Oh, is he no longer the, with us? I, I don't think he works with Sutton anymore, but he's very nice. He's very cute. And I, he's an Aquarius, and he's a Gemini. <gasps> and Gemini and Aquarius go really good you know, together. That, Zach, I think. You know Sutton, what? You guys should try that out. I think Sutton's former assistant, Josh, as well, Zach. Josh, 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 okay, Josh, 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 Chatter, Josh. Zach, for your hookup. Um, We've heard Bolo, Bolo, and I, I like think, Bolo. I don't know about the possibility, but he's a Minnesota boy, that, thank you. he can chop you some wood, maybe he goes both ways, Who's Luke, gonna chop oh, maybe the I feel Luke like, action. I feel like Luke is experimental. Who? Yeah. Luke Who? Gulbranson oh, from Luke. Summer House, he's cute. He's boring. Boring? Oh, okay. All right. He's hot. Zachary Luke. Reality he's in hot. the audience, shout out. He says, Brooks Marks. Oh! Oh, wait. 
Brooke, Brooks Myers? Energetically, what a, so unattractive. It's wait, wild. oh, no, no, no. I he's didn't, just, but he's got boring. the bone structure, he doesn't have a personality. Oh, oh, God. I like Brooks. I love Brooks. I love Brooks. And yeah. I'm sure he's nice, but he's bored. And they, remember when they tried to give him his own show on the internet? You got a question? Okay. I, exactly. I watched the Gia Nobody episode. Um, My point has been made. He's very pretty. You know what? Too. Carl Radke. <gasps> oh. I was, oh, I love Carl, Carl Radke. Uh, I'll give you a he's Carl great, Radke. He's like, yeah. oh, climb tall. him like a tree, baby. No, he's not tall. Yes, he is. No, I don't think he's very tall. He's oh. very tall. Yeah. Not he is, you met him? He's literally. He's pretty tall, and he's he's an Aquarius. Very tall. He's an is Aquarius. He an Aquarius? Yes, oh he's an Aquarius, God. too. All these Aquarius. He married All right. to my former kindergarten mate. <laughs> oh. What? I, I grew forgot. Up with Amanda Petula, yeah. You went to they wait. went to school. I grew up there, yeah. You went to school with Carl Radke? No, with Amanda. Amanda. With Amanda. Oh, Amanda. Oh, oh that's in, was she nice in kindergarten? <laughs> that's that. You. Was she All nice right. in kindergarten? Amanda Batula? All right, we grew up we actually went to preschool, then kindergarten, okay. and then Amanda's parents got a little bit richer, so then they moved to Country Classics in Hillsborough, New Jersey. And then so she did. They kept her parents kept getting richer. No, she kept getting, her parents kept getting richer. So she's like a spoil girl. Four hours she was later. Part of this group. <laughs> <laughs> they have to wrap up. We now. have to wrap it up. Beautiful. All right, we got one more yeah, question right. from the audience. Wrap one more up, question. What was the question? I know right, you're used um, to wrapping it up, but we have to wrap up this. All right, panel. one more question the from the show? audience. No. All right, Jeffrey, here we go. Um, age, uh, shoe size, and uh, uh, a dating status. 30, size 10, and single. And Perfect. Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. And a Taurus. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, boys. Hi. Hello. Hi, Malcolm. <laughs> so I have a question for you guys. If Andy Cohen were to retire and it was up between the four of you to take over, who do you think it would be and why? And, 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 and what's the, what's I want you guys to Who's eat. Who would take over for Andy? It would obviously be birthday boy Zach, guys. Yeah, no Zach, obviously. Zach, Zach. Is this still going? Oh, does the speaker yield to a two-part question? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Um, and I'd like to see each of you do your best Andy impersonation when he's really frustrated at, a, at the reunion. Oh. Our best Andy question. Oh, size 10. Oh. Love it. Oh. That was good. <laughs> He's like scrunched in this position. <laughs> He's like, I would say that, like, <laughs> you know, the thing about Roni is that those girls, like, you've got a cast of all stars. And it's like, first of all, you say that every fucking time. <laughs> The show's return to form. I know, I haven't smoked form. a cig in a while, so it's like, what do you want from me? <laughs> if anybody has a cigarette, since the Toms are no longer here, I would love one after. You. Thank you. And another Stella and a shot, please. Thank you. Okay. Also, Zach, I do have the shot home. you got was from Tammy's husband. Thank you, Tammy's husband. Oh. Tammy Tammy's husband! Or he just goes by Tammy's husband. He's right there. Is He's that Eddie Judd? He's got a cute little hat on. Give Tammy's it up for husband. Tammy's husband. Thank you, Tammy's Tammy husband. Bahama, Tammy's husband. All right, you guys, right. that concludes our Spill the Tea Thank panel. You Thank you so much. Zach, Get the fuck out. Zach's Thank like, never come back. Okay. Okay. Like big boys, itty bitty boys, Mississippi boys, inner city boys. I like the pretty boys with the bow tie. Get your nails did, let it blow dry. I like a big beard, I like a clean face. I don't discriminate, come and get a taste. From the playboys to the gay boys. Go and slay boys, you my play boys. Baby, I don't need you. I don't need I just wanna freak you. I wanna be. I heard you a freak too. That's right. Plus two, plus two. All right. But the show's not done yet. We have some special guests that we're bringing out. Oh my gosh, Zach! I know we can't give them Lala in this moment, but we can give them a lot more. We can give them some Fupa. <laughs> All right, are we ready for our reality tea panel? Yeah, okay. So I have two very special guests that I'm so grateful are in the show tonight. First off is from Peacock's The Traders. You may remember him with his very fun hats and very curly hair. He was very good at fighting with Brandy Glanville. What? Please welcome Christian De La Torre. <laughs> And also, 
also joining us tonight. You know her from Shaws of Sunset. She is also now with hey, the agency. MJ. Please welcome MJ Mercedes Javi. Happy birthday. Thank you. Turn up on a Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah. Yeah, Thursday. Today's my actual birthday. Amazing. And I woke up feeling it. No, you're feeling it. Thank you. You How guys, are you? I just want to say this is really hard to do. I was here last year for blind love and support. Not blind love, that came out wrong because you're so talented, you do what you do so well. He really does, he kills it, right guys? You really, really do. How are you? I'm good, It's honey. been a minute, last time we were in this room, we had just gotten the news that Shaw's was Dunzo's. Was it just that time, It exactly? was, I think that day. That actual day? Yeah. We were all sitting up right there, Ariana. Right when the scandal was happening. And I came up wearing like a Mets t-shirt. Yes. And shout out to Allegra. She made sure that at least my jeans were decent. I came with like bell-bottom jeans at like 10 o'clock. Was it raining? I feel like it was. <laughs> it was chilly, but I don't think it was raining. Oh, was it hot uh, as hell? She would know, she's from Houston. So if she says it was hot as hell, it was hot as hell. Where are you from? Nice, oh, it's hot there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was hot here. So it was exactly a year ago. Yeah, it was Is crazy. that when the news broke to you that Shaz was rapping? No. When did I you knew. find out? Um, I'm sorry, thank you for that. So I think it was like, they called us, and I hope I'm not like gonna get in any trouble, like Lala and Sheena. And, no, I'm kidding. I don't think I will. Um, they call, here's the tea. So they called us and they said, just Gigi, Reza, and MJ on one call, and then they had separate calls for like, hi hey guys, for like Destiny, and a separate call for the rest of them. So we already knew like something's got to be up and they talked to us about the new show, just the three of us. So the same day that they said, we don't wanna make Shaws, we wanna make this. But they never say like, we're not gonna do Shaws. They were like, they, like, they were like you know how Atlanta went on pause? And we were like, I didn't, my honest, honest reaction was like, and the about Atlanta reason, or about Shaz? I didn't care about the news of not making that show. And the reason was, it's very clear if you like look at me, like I'm a family person, I'm doing real estate, I have a vodka brand, I have a podcast, so many more things than making the show that turned into like toxic garbage. And like, imagine you dedicate a majority of your life to making a TV show and then when it airs, those episodes don't track with what you experienced and you can't do that. I did it for 10 years and it was really authentic for the first probably seven seasons, but eight and nine were not something that I was excited to keep doing. So you were relieved when it got canceled? I was like, yeah, fuck it, who cares? What was the new show that they were <laughs> planning on? <laughs> what was the new show with you, Reza and Gigi? So it seems like the new show is gonna be more about, you know, we're moms now and like, just the real stuff that's like going back to focusing on we're, what we're doing. Because when we did TV, it was like, they actually put cameras up, they didn't have the word storyline, didn't exist, and you would just do things that were funny and then it changed and like became more like, okay, so you're gonna have a bad season no matter what. Or like, it's gonna be a lot of drama for you no matter what. Hi. <laughs> 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I know nothing about Bravo. I heard. I, well, it's like I'm brand okay. New so to you were on this. the Traders on Peacock. Yes. So yes. you got to hang out. You got to compete with some of the Bravo lets. With Re you got to work with Reza. Oh yeah. I was with Reza. I was with. Isn't Kyle on it? Yeah. Kyle, Kyle Cook was on it. Kate Chastain, yeah. Brandy Glanville. Oh, yeah. Well, Kate Shout is out Kate amazing. Chastain. Yeah, I Brandy. Hate, I hate Brandy. I'm sorry. Me and Brandy don't get along. <laughs> Wait, Brandy was almost gonna be here tonight, but then she got COVID. I oh, of course uh -oh. she got COVID. Or she just tried to make. She's out like, oh, Christian's gonna be purpose. there. I have COVID. She wanted to come step to him, right? She wanted to come step to you. I wanted. I when I first got asked to come, I was like, please tell me Brandy's gonna come here because I wanted to go at it with. He's her. been waiting for his her. moment with Brandy because she wasn't allowed at the Traders reunion. Yeah, she was not allowed. Well, that's what we were told that she wasn't allowed. But yeah, because I mean the allegations, but we we weren't told what what had happened. We were just like, oh, she won't be here. So. I don't I mean, know. It was. I really wanted her there, but. Uh, what would you say to Brandy had you had the opportunity to have her right now in MJ? Uh, there's Brandy right there. If Brandy was right here, <laughs> I would be turned this way. I wouldn't even be talking to her. I can't Amazing. stand her. I would just ask her because a lot of the people, if anyone here has even seen the traders, they didn't air a bunch of stuff, but she said some things that were off camera to another cast uh, member on the show that was like so low. Like I've never. What did heard she say? Like, it's, I don't want to, like, honestly say it. I can't. Yeah. So, so listen. <clears throat> so, so to be, no, that's fair. That's fair. I got to be, right. I got to respect the person. Because it, it was, like, some real trauma stuff. It, let's just say someone on the show had an incident with their parents and lost their parents. And something had happened where they were like, hey, like, I swear on my parents that I'm not a traitor. And Brandy had the audacity to be like, well, your parents aren't alive, so clearly it doesn't matter. And, like, to me, as soon as that happened, I mean, you can see everyone's, like, every, yeah, everyone on the show was just like, oh, we're voting for you no matter what. But uh, after that happened, I was just like, damn, you're just like a straight-up bitch, like, for, for no reason. And, like, I, I just wasn't a fan. And I've never even seen... Like Beverly Hill, my sisters are diehard fans, but but they didn't like her, and I was just like, I tried to go in there with, I didn't even know who she was, I didn't know who anyone was, but uh, she's just a bitch. I don't, yeah, that's just that's just too low for me. But I would tell her that. If, I was just like, why are you a bitch? Like, <laughs> if they were to do an All Stars Traders, would you come back? Oh yeah, absolutely. But I would not want to be a traitor again. That was horrible. It was so hard. You were so bad at it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, am, am I wrong? I mean, I was so bad that I made it to the last episode, but yeah, you know. He's like, I, check me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> MJ, how's Shams doing? I was, he's amazing, thank you. He just turned four. Yay! I took him to the zoo this week, we went to the park. I have a question, though. I have an answer. Ask okay. the way. I, think I know where this is gonna go. So, my boy Reza got eliminated first. We did. I know. Right? Oh, because you were a fucking traitor. You got rid of Reza. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> what I thought was because he was doing a lot, really big personality, and he posed a threat to the rest of the cast. Would you agree with that as being the reason why he was eliminated first? A hundred percent. He was like, because a lot of the stuff, you, I mean, we filmed for probably like 16 hours a day, so you didn't get to see as much. But yes, Reza is very much a big personality, which I actually like low-key loved. And his style was amazing. But there was just so much that was like, there was a whole thing that happened where we both noticed like Geraldine's knee shaking and he went with it. And so that was like, as a trader, so easy to be like, oh yeah, Reza kind of started this up. <laughs> but um, he looked like a traitor. I wish we could have recruited him as one. Like he, <laughs> he looked great, but I just, he was so, like, out there. And he was the head of, like, it was, like, him, Brandy, and Kate. And those three were already, even Brandy, credit to Brandy, she was on to us. Like, she guessed me. Mm -hmm. She guessed Cody. So we were like, okay, we got to split those three up because they were sticking together so much and starting so much, like, conundrum within the castle we were like we got to get rid of him i remember you guys were saying like you didn't like the camaraderie between those like the not brandy so much but also 
Our girl, Kate, Kate who Kate. just oh, had a yeah. baby. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Kate. She just had we a baby and Kate. you came after her, Christian. <laughs> what? No, no she wasn't pregnant. No, 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 I love Kate. Kate and I are cool. It's like we, swatting milk Kate. out of a baby. I cow. know. God. No, but Reza was uh, amazing. He, I don't know if anyone got to see, but they showed a little bit of it. But when he walked into the castle, he was just like ripping into like all the interior, the deck. He's like, this is from Ikea. Like he was ripping oh everything. God. He's like, this is fake. This is bullshit. Like he was, he was <gasps> So like, Reza. Yeah. So Reza. But yeah, sorry we came for him. <laughs> MJ, have you kept in touch with Mike? Yes, I try. He's a little moody. Um, say again. <laughs> He is hot. And all he has to do is bat his lashes and you know. Um, I think that with Mike, he is so guarded for a guy who did TV for so long. He wasn't like about putting his stuff out there. And it's hard to like operate around a guy where like everything you say, you gotta worry about it. And so toward the most recent time, like we were good. And then like a week later, I was like, they had like their own group chat. Like I'm on like the boys group chat, kind of like Sheena, right? Like where it's like you're included and everything. So I don't know, I think, you know, Mike is doing his thing. They're, he and Paulina broke up. Um, the charges against him were completely dismissed, which is a really big deal. But um, I don't think enough people know that about Mike. Now we know. Yeah, he did. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Which I think is smart. And somebody like Tom Sandoval should probably fucking do that. Yeah. Like, did maybe we don't go on tour and, like... Did you see today how Sandoval on TMZ was doubling down on the T-shirt thing? What the actual fuck? He was trying to defend it, yeah. Yeah, so, basically, do you want to say you're... Okay, you're going to say it better. You opened it up. Go for it. This All is right. yours now. So he's getting out of his car. They're asking him, TMZ, they know what they're doing. They, like, needle and they ask. They're so aggressive, so smart. And he was like, oh, were you, like, putting her down during this, like, yeah, he's like, I've never body shamed her ever. And he, and No, he just fucking cheated on her. Exactly. And so he's like, no, you know, like, if somebody offers to, like, suck your dick, you just pull your dick out and just say, okay, suck it. Never done that. Yeah. He's like, you just pull it out and I'm like, all right, suck it. So he totally doubled down. I was like, you moron. Yeah, it was so sad. And like, he just, obviously he has no understanding or comprehension of what not to say. Like, you don't take this opportunity to explain shit. You apologize. Yeah. You take TMZ reporter as yeah, an opportunity to I say, was caught up I'm in the idiot. moment and I fucked up. Yes. That's right. Yes, don't. multiple times. Thank That's you, Patrick. Right. <laughs> multiple oh, times. Christian, Brandy just announced that she's joining OnlyFans. Are you gonna be subscribing? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's got kids to support. Sucks to suck. I'm not supporting. Sucks to suck. I wouldn't want to. That's see what that. Sandoval says. Oh God. <laughs> By the way, so rewinding back to some of the things that our boys said earlier tonight, I will say on the LVP thing, I think that being a snob is like part of her her like shtick. Her brand. Yeah, like it's like. It is like her thing to be like, oh, darling. But she also doesn't follow her glam, and that is really fail. So I would say, yeah, the point about being snobby, like, there's another thing when you're speaking or, like, you're seeing people, like, like you and like, being successful. Yeah. Yeah, it was, because, like, we, yeah, so shout out to Patrick Toomey who makes her look beautiful from head to toe, hair and makeup. And when I saw that she wasn't following him on the gram, I was like, Oof, not the best look. But then everyone else, I don't want to even touch it with a 10 foot pole. My girl Giselle, <laughs> love you, you're great. Um, 
Say it again. Oh, I'm being a pussy. No, but just. Uh, no. What? Prissy. What? She said you're prissy. 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 Who's prissy? I didn't hear him. Prissy. Who? She said you're pretty prissy. Me. Yeah. You're high maintenance is what she's saying. Are you high maintenance? Are you prissy? I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> I really don't know. I just do me. She has an appreciation for the finer things. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm not going to trash somebody if I don't think. Yeah. But um, so, okay, that was the one rewind. What else were we going to say about the really amazing things that were said? Oh, my God. <laughs> Evan and Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, my God. I keep I, telling him to change his fucking name. <laughs> Is that happening soon? Wait, where's Jolene with the floater mic? We need to... Oh, sorry. Oh, God, I'm just... <laughs> Wait, can I'm you... I'm coming, explain? I'm coming. Hold on, hold on. You need to tell this story really quick. Jeff. Is it Jeff? Yeah. All right, Jeff. Here you go, sir. Just said that the life... Right, I thought I was retired here. Um, <laughs> I was going to actually change my name, my last name to Connors. It's a long story how I picked that. And Zach's like, don't tell those stories. So I'm not going to. And then I started dating somebody named Ryan Connors. And then I was like, this oh. is so creepy if I change it to that name because then we broke up. And so now I'm fucked. Now I'm still Jeffrey fucking Epstein. But you're still trying to get back with him, right? Well, sh Zach, that's not very nice. So embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but of course, yeah. Anyways, goodbye. You gotta, you gotta keep Jeffrey and or Jeff. You gotta drop Epstein. Just. Well, I, all right. Well, he, what he, he could have used his middle name, but his his middle. Name. All right, my middle name Lewis, Jeff Lewis. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Send help. Wow. Hold on. I think you should go full yeah. bo bunny boiler and just change it to Connors. That's so, yeah. it's unbelievably <laughs> next level like uh, psycho. At, yeah. I love it. Well, you're like, actually it's super fitting. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeff, felony. All right, Je goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, anything but Epstein. What do I do? I would just do like Jeff L. No, 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 no. Jeff. No. All right, she just. Jeff Lewis. We'll, we'll let you know. Yeah, I, I've been thinking for years. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, love, I mean, I Stephen had a good suggestion We're, because Paul Walker, R.I.P. Jeff Walker. Oh shit. There Jeff Walker's go. a good name. Right? Or Jeff Steen. Jeff Steen, yeah, that's, I mean, that sounds Jeff Stein. respectable. All right, if I'm gonna ditch Epstein, would I really go to Steen? No. <laughs> like, you're out of your mind? No, sorry, you seem lovely, but no. Okay, what about Jeff, Jeff Rose? Rose, Jeff Rose. I would yeah. drink it because that was all that was available. It's very low on the list. If I, I mean, if like... you're gonna be Jeff Rose, there's a stripper pole right there. No, it would be like Jeff Stella Artois beer, Jeff. <laughs> Tall draft, Jeff Tallboy from the liquor store near my house. Um, you could but do not like Jose. Jeff Denver. Jeff that's Denver. The that's your OnlyFans name. That's the sluttiest name I've ever heard in my entire life. Like and if it's for your OnlyFans, Jeff Boise, name. Idaho. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeff yeah. Glass, what, George Glass? George Jeff. All right, Jefferson. I want everyone, I'm going to post something and you. I want. All right, so I actually am a, I am a German Jew, by the way, so praise be. Um, <laughs> all right. Cohen? So Epstein to Cohen, Jew to Jew? No, just do uh, Jeff Jefferson. Wait, what? Jeff George, Jeff George Jefferson. I thought Jeff Lucas. No. What the fuck? It sounds too close to Jeff Lewis. No, I thought it sounded closer to George Lucas, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, just be George Lucas. All right, can people please, I'll do a submission box. Do an Instagram poll, and people will well, go Well, you guys got to fill it out, because not everyone does. <laughs> I need a lot of help here. A lot of right. help. And because well, Steven's always like, Steven's always like, you're shadow banned again. You're shadow banned. I was like, Steven, I've been shadow banned for five fucking years. My name's Jeffrey fucking Epstein. June 14th, my birth, Donald fucking Trump's birthday. <laughs> fucking two felonies on my own. I'm shadow banned. What do you want from me? 
all right. Jolene, while you have Jolene, while you have the mic, should we take a couple questions from the audience? Sorry. Justice for Jeff Epstein. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we got a Jeff couple questions Connors. Um, from the audience. Raise your hand if you have a question for the panel. Okay, Tammy's friend is raising her hand. <laughs> Tammy's friend, what's your name? Hi, Tammy. Rare. Friend. Rare. Wow. Rare. Rare. Love it. And it's my birthday too. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Greer! Sixty-two. You look so much younger than Tom Sandoval, who is 67. That is crazy. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That makes sense. Um, anyway, so um, I think it's always too soon for Jeffrey Epstein because I think he's dis disgusting. Um, but um, she said both are disgusting. No, she didn't say that. She said no. Epstein, Epstein, it's disgusting. But you know what? I'm here for Zach because he's the best. The best. Aww, so you just wanted to tell him that he's the best and take half of his birthday away. That's so sweet, Greer. That is so... I <laughs> love like, that about the best, her. but it's my birthday, too. She's like, bitch, it's not just you. It's not... Okay, we have... Oh, Susie! Green Bay Susie. How are we doing? I'm okay. Green Bay Susie. Um, audience, why have we not sung happy birthday to Zach yet? Oh. Yeah. Let's, let's get through the panel. We'll, we'll do happy birthday. Okay, so we'll get through the panel. That was, I, I saw a hand over here. Did I see a hand? Hand? Hand. Okay. I saw four hands. Okay. Let me. Oh, oh I, I remember what I wanted to say. Oh, go ahead. All right, cuties. Here you go. Who was talking about the, the tea at Hannah Burner's wedding? Oh, who was? Stephen said the tea at Hannah Burner's Steven? wedding. Yeah. So, yeah. Nima did take Ariana. No, sorry. Raquel. Nima did take Raquel. Oh, she, he did take her to the Yeah. Bar. So we were invited to Hannah Burner, me, Tommy, Sheena, Brock, and Nima. We all three went. We drove, stayed at a hotel room. All three of us had our each room, like, next to each other. Spent the weekend. And, I mean, the, the scorching hot tea that you guys didn't hear was that our girl Paige was not happy with the way that Raquel made a beeline for her man, Craig Conover, at said wedding. What did she do? She was like, Raquel saw Craig standing at the bar and walked, yep, made a beeline, walked straight up to him, started hitting him up. And Paige was like, fuck this. This does not look good, doesn't smell good. I don't trust that bitch. And she went over there and handled it. Yes. And you know who probably knows is our boy Evan Ross, since he, it was reported on page six. Because it was on Giggly Tour. <laughs> Zach. Now it's relevant. probably because Nima oh my goodness. was oh talking my about it. Zachary, that's what I think. Thank you. Oh. We have a collective it question from the back thing. corner. Thank you. Thank you. So she probably Zach, Zach. That out there. Hold on. Back corner. You got a back on. corner, we Zach. We have a question. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. First of all, happy birthday from all of us. Thank you. And the question we want to know is, or the answer for the question we want to know is, if you could be on any reality show. What cast would you join? I mean, right now, Vanderpump Rules, because it's like no, what no, no. everybody's talking about. The no cop out No cop outs. No <laughs> cop out answers. No cop out answers besides Vanderpump. That was my answer. Um, good question. That is kind of like the low hanging fruit, Vanderpump. You have to pick but something it's real. else. No, Summer House is boring. What? <laughs> I don't have Rachel's number. I don't want Rachel's number. She doesn't it's want It's called 911. That is her number. <laughs> um, I mean, if I had to pick a housewife show, I'd probably pick Beverly Hills, because that's I know. Hey. But I feel like, I don't know, I want to be on a new show. Yeah. Shaw's Reboot, I like a that. Shaw's Reboot. Husbands of Weehaw. That would be good, thank you. Happy birthday, did you, Zach! Did you really think that Nima and Raquel would hit it off and like be a thing? Nope. 
now. Why? Because Raquel was talking about Schwartz and Sandy at the time, and I'm not talking about the bar. Mm. And she was just, like, he picked a girl that would make a splash, mm. you know? It could have been, like, a girl from Raya, or it could have been Raquel. <laughs> Well, Facts. It was Rocky Rocky Bang Bang. That's the tea. And she made a name for herself. She did. Okay. Yeah, have your shot. Put it down. Put it. Zachary, Come we on. have another question over here. Woo woo! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Uh, nothing right now. Will we ever yeah. see you not blonde again? Me? Or MJ? Good no, question. I don't. Want, I don't need to be blonde. Um, I don't know. I've well, actually, Kelly, who does my hair, she's been bleaching me hair and asshole for nine years. For no, six <laughs> years now. Sorry, six years. Now. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't. I. I've, TMA. What? <laughs> he said TMA. Did you say TMA? <laughs> Tell me a lot. Tell me a lot. <laughs> TMA. Um, <laughs> Uh, will I not be blonde? I mean, uh, for the foreseeable future, I think I will still be blonde. I may dabble in, like, going back to dark for a minute. Yeah. We'll see. But I feel like blonde is the brand. I would have to change all of the marketing. I can't do that. That's expensive. It's expensive to be me. All right, Zach. Another question in the audience. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, name, question, go for it. Name, question, what, wait, what are we oh my God. You waved to me five minutes ago and <laughs> said, me next. And I said, I gave you the universal, uh-huh. Do you have a question for? You were just waving to me? That is so sweet. Thank you. He's okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. okay. Okay, two more questions. 100%. When is Shaw's coming back? I wish I had an answer for you, sweetheart. We don't know. Just give MJ a show. That's all we want. Just give MJ a show. Yeah. Um, all right. MJ and Tommy. Sweden has a question. Oh, the country the of house. Sweden has a question. She can ask whatever she wants. She came here from Sweden. I did, but I'm not Swedish. Um, I'm like <laughs> Jeff. I'm a hot mess. I'm Australian and Canadian and almost Swedish. So there's that. Um, OK, so my question is, if you look at the Bravo verse and all these different incidents, the treatment of different people in these circumstances is not equal. So, for example, Erica Jane and Jen Shaw. One of them was culpable. One of them still is yet to be like held accountable. Lala was raked over the goddamn coals. Give them Lala. And wasn't a perfect victim, but Ariana, uh, and if we go back to 2019, Jax even called it out. Those guys weren't honest about their relationship. Just, I, again, I don't agree with what happened, but I just see double standards. Why do you think that there are these double standards across the Bravo bus? Um, I mean, I think it comes down to, I mean, look at Lala and Ariana. Lala is very open with who she is. She's very open with her sexuality. And I think people want to throw stones at who they, th Lala will own who she is. And I think people are willing to not um, accept that and they'll want to brand her as a slut or a homewrecker or a mistress or whatever they want to call her, but she doesn't, she has no shame about who she is and she owns it. And I think that that intimidates some people and that's why they're going to drag them. Do you feel? Yeah, I totally agree. Also, they weren't best friends, remember? And yeah, yeah, then. Yeah. When it comes to that, yes. And then. I'm not, I'm your, not best your best friend. friend how? <laughs> and. You know, I do think that Lala was manipulated by Randall. Yeah, she and did lied to. go into a therapy session and his therapist said he's separated, he's getting a divorce, and yeah. everyone around her gave her confirmation that she was doing the right thing. So I just don't think it's the same. So wait, how do you feel about Gigi not being Team Lala? She's more that like, supportive of Randall. That threw me. Wow. I didn't like that, obviously. Yeah, that was uh, not what I expected. 
Christian's lost. He's like, who are so these people? So fucking lost. Or, I actually, He's like, who I is no Lala? <laughs> you met her earlier tonight. <laughs> I, no, I met. I love Lala. My older sister's obsessed with Lala, but I'm like, my edibles kick in. I'm half. Sister. I'm like, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just like, no worry. Oh. All right. All right. Last, Christian, I actually okay. do have um, a last question, question. Yeah, yeah, last for question. Christian. We'll tag team off this. So I love Traders. I thought it was a fucking fantastic show. I it hope is. they bring it back for another season. Uh, we'll Ceri's a queen. They are. Love it, love it. Love Ceri. Um, Cody Cauliflower, if you guys, anyone follows Big Brother things, thoughts on Cody Cauliflower Calafiori? So Cody is Cody. Um, so you don't like him? No, I, I don't want to say. Hot. I don't want to say I don't like him. We just we don't talk that much, but apparently he has a lot of haters. So like I I never saw Big Brother. I had no idea yeah. what the fuck was going on. I didn't know anyone on that show. The only one I knew was Ryan Lochte because I watched him since middle school. Yeah, swim. I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> exactly. But other than that, I had no idea who anyone was. So like the people who I don't know. A lot of people didn't like him. Um, a lot of women don't like him for I guess like what he's done before on the show or manipulated women, but. I mean, we chit chat. I mean, there's like a like every once in a while on each other's stories, but we're not like the best of friends now. Okay, cool. Thank you for answering that. Yeah. I am a Big Brother <laughs> fan, and I am not a Cody Cauliflower yeah, fan, okay. but I appreciate getting a little insight into Cody yeah. as well. Okay, last question from the audience, okay, Zach, because I promised her and I took the turn, which is such a bitch move, but I'm a comedian. <laughs> so I only think about myself. Okay, name, question, go ahead. Okay, my name is Emily. Happy Hi, Emily. Zach. Yes. Um, my question is for MJ. It's a two-part. So has Reza met Sham? And how is Tommy and Reza? Are they getting along? Are they... What's, that's a loaded question. Sorry. It's okay. okay. Um, yes. Um, Tommy told me on Elijah's birthday, Gigi's son, go ahead and take Shams. It's okay. Um, the restraining order was about to be lifted, and uh, they met. So Shams and Tommy, I'm sorry, Shams and Reza met. Super sweet, very cute. Shams walked up, just like organically wandered over to him, and uh, he just turned four. Yeah, and then Reza gave him like a bunch of gummy bears, and that was it. It was, you know. It was cute. Reza and Mike are the same as me and Mike. We're like, one day we're good, the next day, like, Mike kind of ghosts us. I don't know, like, Mike is moody. It's moody Mike, you just don't know. But, you know, maybe he'll, if you're watching, Mike, call me. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Mike's in the live stream right now. And the two-parter about Tommy and Reza are cordial, they cracked a joke in court. That was funny. And that's, and then after that, like, you know, they just kind of see each other from a distance. Time heals all wounds. That's kind of probably what this really comes down to. When, when Reza and MJ broke up, so to speak, and the whole thing kind of fell apart, that might have had a lot to do with Exactly. Being cordial is very different from what we used to have. Well, and that's, and that's okay. it, is what it is. And now you're doing the agency. I'm at the agency. You're selling real estate. Yes. You're promoting some new vodka. Yes, so I brought you the vodka. They won't allow me to bring it up the stairs, so it is downstairs. My cute little cars from the agency. The agency. So if anybody's looking for some real estate. Yes, I'm your. Real I think Christian estate. might need to get out of the van. I'm you down. Do. Yeah, absolutely. What are you? <laughs> are you? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. I'm not wasted. I'm just really high. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. I love it. Well, thank, thank you guys so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for Christian and MJ. Thank you guys so much. I just want to say thank you again to the Bourbon Room for tonight's show. Thank you to Jolene. Give it up for Jolene. Give it up for Jolene. Hey, you guys. Give it up for Steven, Jeff, Evan, and Lala, who was here earlier and doing selfies.
We will oh. not leave here, Norma, until we sing Happy <laughs> Birthday. I promise they, you. Promise. Yes. And I just want to say thank you to Pierre Kane for making tonight possible. Thank yeah. you to Chomps. Thank you to Bioray for that fun pre-party. Thank you to Lala, who really did wish she could be in the show, but she got to take selfies with everybody earlier. So thank you guys so much for making tonight so special. Grab a drink at the bar afterwards. If you got ultra VIP tickets, brunch is tomorrow at 11. So come on out. Yes. It's going to be fun. And obviously, we cannot leave here without singing happy birthday and presenting Zach with a birthday cake. It's so cute. It says, send it to Daryl. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, you guys. We'll start on the count of three. One, two, three. Remember, Tom Sandoval sings. We can. Happy birthday. Okay, everybody out to the lounge. Let's get fucking drunk tonight.